As an actor, I've been caught in all kinds of compromising positions, yes. But I'm very humbled to be up here this evening, a 48-year-old stand-up virgin. Right? Yes, in fact, it was raining this morning at my place. I planted some lemongrass. It just stopped raining, just like that. <laughs> and you just watch. Later on, when I'm done up here, it'll start raining again. Proving that I am indeed a real virgin. So, like for any other virgin, this could be more painful for me than it is for you. <laughs> I could be wrong. Uh, yes, yes, I know that uh, I'm guilty of inflicting my own fair share of pain on TV audiences, especially with my spoken Mandarin, which I'm very sorry for. Yes, I've been, uh, I've had to say all kinds of shit in Mandarin, like, uh, like... <laughs> which means, you stabbed me! In a Channel 8 drama, you have to describe what just happened just two seconds ago. Me <laughs> dao, correct. Well, Dani, very well observed. <laughs> and uh, how about this one? Ni bu yao lai. Which basically means you don't anyhow come. <laughs> That's what it means, right? That's what they said. Right? And, uh, and the number one catchphrase in any Channel 8 drama Ma, ni chou ba Right? Which means, Ma, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> How did she do that? And uh, Patricia Moore. <laughs> Mark Lee was the only one keeping it real. Cow, bear, ask me to die to you. Meanwhile, I'm lying over here going, Oi, what about the Kantan bleeding to death over here, you bastard? <laughs> of course, I had to join in with them, stammering, Ma, 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 ni, 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 ja, ma, 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 la. <laughs> but in my head, I was going, na, 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 ma, 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 And it went further downhill from there, okay, because in episode 41, I went blind. <laughs> in episode 53, I had amnesia, which was a blessing, actually. And in episode 74, I was murdered by Terence Chow in a fishbowl-making machine. <laughs> but luckily, it ended well for me, because in episode 98, I was reincarnated as a family cat.